All right, we're very excited to be welcoming tonight to the Scott and Holm podcast for the first time a multi-time conference championship winning player and coach, the newly named head coach of your Houston Cougar Tennis program, Kat Edibovich. Welcome to the Scott and Holm podcast. Thank you guys for having me. So I'll start it off here. What were the biggest reasons the head coaching position at the University of Houston appealed to you? It's really the opportunity. I mean, one of big uh, driving points was the Big 12 conference, right? I played in the Big 12. I always loved that com- this conference, and uh, that was definitely one of the things that drove me for this position. But then once I started the interview process and kind of saw the potential and vision that really the department has for the future of this program, it was it kind of aligned with everything that I want to do as a coach. And uh, it really felt like a great opportunity for me. So going back to your most recent stop at Grand Canyon, um, you used your first head coaching job, spent two years there. Now having kind of the perspective of, look, you know, officially, I guess, looking back on your two-year run there, what were some of the big things that you learned um, from the coaches that you played and, and worked under prior to that that helped you be so successful right away in that job? It really, it comes down to kind of knowing who you are as a coach and as a person and really be staying true to that, right? Not having the the title behind your name change uh, how you go about things and change your values. And, uh, you know, we in this position, when it comes to, it it comes with a lot of pressure, right? As a head coach in, in any sport, you have a lot of pressure, a lot of expectation, and sometimes you let that impact your decisions and how you go about your things. And, uh, you know, for me, I was very lucky that, um, you know, as a, as a player, I had already experienced a lot of pressure uh, that kind of um, I always enjoy that. And then when I got into coaching, you know, uh, I had great mentorship. Um, I was part of some schools that really – showed me how I should do things and I, how I should not really do things. And uh, when I came to Grand Canyon that first year, especially the first year, I would say was kind of challenging, you know, being a young head coach, stepping into a role and, uh, you know, having to build really uh, kind of from the scratch uh, at Grand Canyon as well. Um, that first semester really spent time kind of developing my philosophy, uh, how I want to, run the program and once i figured that out it kind of went smooth for, it was a smooth ride from there uh, but it, it, it was really um it was really kind of just staying true to yourself and and uh knowing your values and not letting any external factors really change how you uh why you do this you know and it, it's players comes first and uh you know people come people come first it's not really players people come first and uh yeah, um, really, that was that was my goal when I came to Grand Canyon. And uh, second year, once I set that in place and set the culture in place, uh, you know, this was one of the past year was really the time, like the year that I enjoyed the most coaching and enjoyed the college tennis the most. So, uh, yeah. So, you know, you talked about people being first and that really being – the uh, the most important thing in your players being first for you uh we we've seen multiple players commit to the u of h program recently who played for you previously what can you tell all the cougar fans listening watching this on on uh, the various channels about the newest players who will be join joining this program oh i'm so excited for houston fans to meet this group of players that are coming in i mean we have players coming in from all over the world and with different backgrounds and and different style of play and uh but i can tell one thing i uh that it it is fun to watch this group uh i can uh, i had so much fun in the last year to watch them compete and the way they go about their things on court and off the court it's it's really great group of players um on and off the court great student athletes and uh they bring so much passion you know all four of them they're coming you know uh here they bring so much passion they're so competitive, and uh, I'm, I'm really excited for Houston fan base to kind of come and, and, and meet because it's going to be a brand-new culture, brand-new team, and these players bring a lot of fire. They're going to bring a lot of fire uh, to this program, and I'm, I'm so excited that they chose to come here and commit here, and it's really a testament to what we build at Grand Canyon, you know, that they decided to follow the culture and, and come here uh, none of them really visited Houston or anything like that. So 
it, it it's exciting and uh i'm i'm so happy for them you know that they chose to come here and also for the for the houston fan base to really um uh, see them and watch them play and compete. It's going to be, it's going to be a fun year. Do you like to your playing days for a bit here? I think I said at the top, if listeners don't know though, you are a multi-time big 12 champion while playing for the Oklahoma state program. Obviously the teams in the league are a little different now, but how do you think you can use that really strong experience you have as a big 12 tennis player? Now that you're kind of a different spot now as the coach of a big 12 program. Yeah, I, I, I think I don't, it's it's different. Things will change. I mean, I've played it now what six, seven years ago. Obviously, college athletics is changing every day, really. So a lot of things are different. But um, actually, a lot of coaches stay the same, really, uh, from back when I played to now. Majority, I would say, are are the same in Big Twelve. Um, but you know, it's uh, I always say my experience from 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 player to coach the only thing that i'm taking from that is really i know from a player perspective what it takes to be successful right like the work the dedication the sacrifice that you gotta make to really play it at the ultimate level of college like highest level of college uh, athletics but as a coach it, it's completely different right uh coaching in big 12 now we have i mean we have oklahoma state that's number one team in the country and you know um Texas and Oklahoma left, but I mean, we, it's probably, it's going to be one of the best conferences, if not the best conference of the SEC in the country. So it's going to be challenging. And I, you know, I, I will need to raise my level of coaching and, and continue learning and developing as a coach alongside with my players. And uh, I'm, I'm excited for the challenge. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, um, we'll see. I mean, big 12, it's fun. I, uh, I enjoy representing Big 12 as a player, and I'm going to continue enjoying representing it as a, as a head coach. So you talk about what a, a tough conference the Big 12 is, and uh, Houston fans learned that firsthand this last year as, as Houston didn't win any games in the Big 12. So obviously a lot of the roster turnovers going to be new players and everything like that. But you know, understanding that this is kind of year one and – what is you know going to be a multi-year process of building something at Houston? You know what? What do you think? Kind of are some fair expectations for uh, for year one? I mean, the expectation is, uh, you know, I, I always say the the standard is kind of right now we are building from the scratch, right? There is we cannot really do much worse than what it has been, to be honest, right? Like they haven't won a match, so I'm not chasing for the first win in Big Twelve, right? Like I'm chasing. Let's see how far we can go. In Big 12 this year, I think uh, we, I believe we're gonna have the team that can, uh, you know, uh, do well in Big 12. Uh, and I don't want to limit ourselves to what we can or cannot do because if you have the right culture set and if you have 110 um, percent buy-in from the players and the staff and the athletic department, you can do great things. You know, so even though it's a year one, I don't want to say, oh, like we want to get that first win. Obviously, want to get first win, but we also get want to get. 10 more wins, right? <laughs> uh, so um, it's definitely going to be challenging. I, I'm, I'm locking up the schedule uh, this week. And, you know, we every every team that we're going to play is going to be ranked within top six in the country, right? So every time you step on that court, it, it, you're playing against the best teams. But, um, you know, I think the players that are coming, they're, they're really excited for that. They're excited for to, to be able to compete against the best in the country. And I'm excited to coach against the best in the country. And, you know, we're going to use this fall and, and summer to prepare us for, for the spring. And, you know, we'll, we'll need a little bit of luck. Hopefully we don't have any injuries or anything like that. And, you know, I'm excited to see how far we can, we can go this year. I, I think we can go much, much further than a, a few wins here and there. So. That's super exciting to hear as a uh, as a Cougar fan. But you kind of talked about building the program up from scratch, and that's kind of where we're starting. Do you think Houston's tennis facilities are currently where they need to be for you to achieve your goals at U of H? And what, if anything, did the administration kind of tell you during the hiring process about any future plans to improve those facilities? Absolutely. I mean, it's, uh, you know, uh, our facility is behind when you compare to the rest of the big 12 right we don't have a multi-million million facility and locker rooms but um 
you know, with where the University of Houston is, and I think athletic department, they have a very clear vision of where they want to be. And it, it might take us, uh, you know, a, a few years to get there, but the vision is clear, uh, you know, and that is why I'm here because they, they're they not just looking to be mediocre in Big 12. They want to be at the top of the Big 12 in everything they, they do. And that's something that aligned with my vision as a head coach coming into here. And, you know, uh, you don't build a championship team uh, overnight. Uh, it takes, I always say, it takes the village and, you know, uh, department and is behind us that will help us. And it, it starts starts with me, right? Uh, it starts with the head coach kind of getting out there. And, you know, I can tell you that the tennis program, uh, you know, has no foundation when it comes to, you know, alumni base or involving alumni and donors in the past that's non-existent so when i say i'm starting from the scratch i'm not just saying bringing building the team I'm, i mean building every single relationship out there with the houston community when it comes to alumni and donors and students and bringing people and fans so you know um and it, and it starts with me if we want to compete in the big 12 and want to play for the championships you know, it, we will need a better facility, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, it's going to take time to build those relationship, uh, relationships. And, uh, you know, Houston will support me and, and the tennis program. I'm 100% uh, confident in that. I've always believed as somebody who grew up in the area that Houston, being such a diverse and international city, would really have, I think, would eventually really be a positive asset for U of H tennis, even if, like you said, you're starting from scratch in a lot of ways, uh, fully – fully agree with you as an outsider on that one no better than me how do you think the fact that your program is located in such a diverse and international city like houston how do you think that will help with your future recruiting and uh, roster building this program yeah i mean our main focus will be uh, uh, recruiting international players from really all, all over the world right now uh, seven players are international players and you know Coming to Houston, I kind of knew that, that it's a very international and diverse city, great connections with two big airports, um, great for visits. There is a lot of things to do, um, easy to travel, easy to come in and get out. So um, Houston as a city has so much to offer. University of Houston has so much to offer. And I think, you know, uh, college tennis being such an international sport, um, having that kind of behind us, that we can really sell to those future student athletes will will help us a lot. Um, I think this first year, you know, uh, we were lucky that the transfer portal uh, is the way it is right now. So when the new head coach comes in, it, it's a little bit easier to rebuild it. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't like that in the past, but you know, we're gonna continue utilizing transfer portal as much as we can, uh, especially right now. It, it's probably the number one player in the college athletics and, you know, kind of getting outside and looking for these new players to come in from really all, all over the world. I'm not putting, like I said, I'm not putting any limitation and, and Houston as a city will just help us with that. Um, just from the standpoint of really everything that it has to offer. So you talk about recruiting players internationally, but of course you were once on the other side of that equation as you played your junior tennis in Serbia before coming to play. Uh, collegially at Oklahoma State. What can you tell us about what your path was like? What did that look like for you to, to come stateside? Oh, uh, my path, I mean, uh, it was um, it was kind of a last minute decision really to uh, come to college. Uh, I played professionally. I played junior tennis. I kind of moved all over the Europe a little bit. And it was a last minute decision. Head coach from Oklahoma State. Um, he's still a head coach there, Chris Young. He kind of flew to Serbia. I was playing a tournament. He met with me and my dad. And, uh, you know, I had some offers. I had my dream school. Uh, I had offer for my dream school. And uh, he came down and met with me, spent a few days with me and my dad. And, you know, he told me what his vision was for Oklahoma State. At that time, Oklahoma State wasn't what Oklahoma State is right now, right? Um, we knew, I knew that he's bringing one more player, Victoria Lushtova, who was a top junior player in the in the world and you know he was um he wanted uh us to create a legacy and 
and we had the opportunity to do, opportunity to do that at Oklahoma State, and that was something that uh, I wanted out of my college career, right? I wanted to go somewhere and make the impact and leave the legacy. And um, I never visited Oklahoma State, never been to Stillwater before. I a couple months later, I sat on an airplane and, and flew in Stillwater. And I can tell you, I would not change my college experience for anything. And not there's there's no other city in this country I would change it for Stillwater for five years. But um, but that's something that uh, my experience as a player really taught me how special it is to go somewhere and really having an opportunity to leave the legacy and create create something from the scratch. And you know, we got there. I remember we were. 70 something in the country and in three years you're competing for the national championship against Stanford. So uh, when you have right people and right culture and right support behind you, anything is possible. And that was the same thing that kind of going back to the first question, what drove me to Houston is exactly the same same opportunity, you know, um, to create that legacy and, and, and make the history for University of Houston tennis program. Well, last question for you here, coach, and I will play the dumb tennis fan who doesn't, who wants to support the program, but okay. doesn't know. Not, not me. I was going to say, I have like two <laughs> different clay court uh, shoes uh, in like various uh, email, so, email boxes. That's so Bobby. I no. will, I will play this role, even though I just want to point out, I was the only one to go to a tennis match last year. I'm That's just true. saying did, I was did. the only one who did it. We gotta, we gotta change that. We gotta change I, that this year. I, I live in Point Dallas. I went to the. I, I live in Las Vegas. It's a little harder. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Forget it. Forget it. I, I'm just, a, I'm just a bad fan. So shame on me. <laughs> no, but, but I'll play, the, I'll play the role here. Um, for, for those of us who, um, maybe watch tennis, you know, the, the majors, Wimbledon, the U.S. Open, things like that, but aren't super familiar with college team tennis can you give us a breakdown of how a team tennis match works how it's played and how a team wins and just kind of some of the basics so anybody listening who's been inspired to follow the program knows what they're going to watch this upcoming season absolutely i would say if you love watching ten professional tennis you will like a thousand more times watching college tennis right because uh it's way more relaxing atmosphere you can talk you can walk you can cheer uh, there are no very strict. There are no strict rules on when you can cheer, how loud you can be, and etc. Right. So number one thing, the atmosphere is just awesome, which why I love college tennis. Second, you have we start double header. We start sorry. We start matches with three doubles at the same time. Uh, team has to win two out of three doubles to count as a one point. Right. Once you finish with your doubles match, all six matches, singles matches go at the same time, and whoever gets to four points wins the dual match. Every single match counts as a one point. So uh, if you win doubles point, you need three more singles to win win the match, the whole match. So a lot going on. Uh, you will not be bored as somebody who maybe never came to tennis college tennis match before. Come out, give it a try because uh, it's it's way different than what you think the what, what you see on a TV and if you watch professional tennis because it's loud. Um, it's fun and there is a lot going on. So uh, I encourage all the Houston fans to give us a chance and come out this upcoming spring and, uh, and just um, see, see for yourself if you like it. And I, I'm sure, I'm sure if you like college sports and uh, you will love watching college tennis. It is our promise. We will, we will guilt Dustin down here at least a few different times uh, <laughs> to get out to a match, uh, a match this spring. Kat Adamovich. You've been absolutely fantastic. We're really excited for this uh, new era of uh, Cougar Tennis. Uh, Thanks for taking a little bit of time every evening to join us tonight. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate uh, appreciate you guys inviting me. And, um, you know, hopefully hopefully in a couple of months I can jump on here and and we can talk about how great a season was. Exactly. (laughs) 